Hey, what's up guys on YouTube? This is 3D Bonfire back with an amazing tutorial. And I was just working on lesson three of my master lighting in 3D course for my Patreon 3D Bonfire. And I thought I can also share some of the knowledge here on YouTube. So this is the whole scene we will create on Patreon in lesson three of this training. But of course there will be upcoming lessons on the topic lighting and cinema 4D and Octane. But now on YouTube, I just want to tell you about the Octane Spotlight. So maybe I will just just deactivate all of my light okay and now I just start with a new octane spotlight so you can see my whole scene is going black so let me just go out of my camera and just see where my light is so I just drag this one put it up and I just angle it directly onto my scene give me the 90 degree angle please all right and you can see this one is already putting a nice cone onto my object so maybe I just have to increase the power put it to maybe 10,000 Mm, let's put it to 20,000. All right, now you can see this one looks pretty dull and boring. So why don't we just go to the spotlight, to the details and check this cone angle. So let's put this one to 15 and 14, for example. Now you can see the shape of our cone is getting more clear and defined. So I think the magic number would be something around this. No, let's make it even smaller. All right, let's put this one to 8.5. You can see this one, when you go lower with it, you will get a less defined cone. But I think I just want to have this really pronounced something like that. Let's put this one to a value around here. So I just want to have this thing here just be litten almost exactly with this light. Okay, so I think I already like this one. I think it's just too weak. So put it up to 80,000, for example. All right, and I think I already like this lighting. Let me just go to my HDRI environment and let's just put an RGB spectrum inside of it. And let's give this one just a really great value to just introduce a little bit more ambient light into our scene. And basically, and this is how you can work with spotlights in Octane and Cinema 4D. Of course, in my training, you will learn way more about lighting in Cinema 4D and Octane. And this is just a glimpse of it. I hope you still learned something about spotlights. See you in the next training. Bye, guys.